with the queen of real estate. Mm -hmm. Is the queen the right word? No. Yeah, it is. It's it is. Not. Just, every time I see you got awards, she's in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Jesse Yerksa. Nailed it. Did I? I did. I said it right. It was said awkwardly, but yeah. Yerksa. Yerksa. <laughs> Yerksa. 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 Yeah. And you run a big real estate team in Fredericton. There's six of us, five licensed and one videographer full time. Yes, that's mm -hmm. why I wanted you to be the first one to podcast oh, with. I'm honored. Because you. you are so, you're, I don't want to say I'm half crazy. Do you consider yourself a little crazy? I say you're full, I'm half. Okay, yeah. so whatever, so yeah. I'll take it. Okay. But every time I see you on social media, it's mm -hmm. the craziest stuff. Yeah, no, I, uh, I love having fun with it. I think the business, a lot of funny things happen in our day and people relate to it. So I throw it out there. I do a lot on social media and I don't, you do more than I do advertising the house for sale or, mm. right? I guess I'm more of a flipper than in your hardcore real estate team sales, right? Yeah. Like our, our primary source of income is selling. Like selling we're, right. our team is, we'd sell 230 and change units last year. Myself personally, 150 n so a lot. So 150 ends, if you're not familiar with real estate, that's transactions that go through a lawyer, right? That's right. Here in Canada, we have to go through a lawyer. Yeah. In the States, don't you envy them sometimes? They could just use a notary. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Yeah, they just go to the notary, even in yeah. Quebec. Oh, that's that, cool. You just go to the notary. You don't even need the lawyer. Not No offense if you're a yeah. lawyer out there. We love you. Yeah, we love <laughs> we you guys. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> Here, if we move, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> but I do, back to the social media thing, yeah. I do social media stuff because it de-stresses my day. Yeah. Because it's fun. It's a release. Like, you get to engage with people through something that you love to do anyway and have those like-minded people comment on your stuff and you, you get to play back and forth. I love it. I think it's such a escape from, like you said, what you're doing day to day the business. Yeah, because you've been selling how long? I was licensed 12 years ago. This is my 12th year. 12 yeah, years ago? Yeah, I was just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh oh, out of high school. Oh, I got tricked. We're not going to get into who's, how, who's a baby because if you were born in 1993, if uh, that, was the, sunshine, uh, that was the first day you've seen the sunshine or uh, enjoyed the bathwater, like, I'm referring here, hold on, I'm referring to the people who were born at home, like do they do that in the bathtub? Oh, that's weird. Do still do that? No, sorry, that's not weird. I think that's great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> personally, <laughs> I'm a great swimmer, but I, I don't know if the baby would be, so we just... Okay, my <laughs> point was, <laughs> if you topic. were born in the hospital or yeah. at home, whatever, yeah, don't offend anybody, yeah. in 1993, that's when I started. 28 years ago, 27 oh, years really? ago. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Oh, you are old. I am old. Okay. I know, it's true. Mm -hmm. But my point was, because <laughs> we don't want to focus on just that but i got gray hair like it's it's your silver fox silver fox you're, yeah. that's your hashtag <laughs> <laughs> i use whatever hashtag i noticed gets does your do your followers ever comment on your hashtags i get the that's another do we want to get into that is that where we're going now oh we i we think we should. have to have you got to dive in yes. hashtag makeup yeah I, well i ha i figure my market because we're doing the podcast now, we're doing the building bridges, the yeah. vlog every every day, right? Mm -hmm. Who who follows me mm -hmm. are doing makeup. They're searching makeup, yeah. right? Or they're searching Silver Fox, or <laughs> and it works. <laughs> and same as you, what are your hashtags? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to put Silver Fox. You know what? I never, I never, I've not thought too much into hashtags, and I don't know why. I mean, I, it's a huge missed opportunity, I'm sure. But I, I'm pretty generic. Like, I'm a hashtag real estate agent, hashtag real estate, you know, if I'm feeling wild, hashtag fry-a. But I've fry never... Egg? fry a fry a fry a fry I've never heard of The end of the that. week, fry a fry a Now you're going to take that. No, I'm not. Now on your next post. Because I, 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 hey, I am not a marketing genius at all. I just started really just like a month ago, yeah. really pushing my social media yeah. and getting more Instagram followers and all that stuff. I did, didn't kind of care before. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to put stuff out of the box that not everybody else is doing. Yeah. Like even we like do the hamburgers. Same. Yeah. Somebody's searching hamburgers. Oh, who's this? What's going on? What's going on here? <laughs> but there is a reason we do it. Absolutely. Because I, do you have certain clients that you work better with? Big time. 
Who? And I, Who's your client? My, you? my, my client is like you, your personality. Fly by the seat of your pants and you just want to have it. Sorry. <laughs> own it. <laughs> just own it. <laughs> Fly by the seat of their pants. Just like to have a fun experience in real estate because real estate can be dry, right? And yeah. intimidating and it's a lot of money. So to be able to break it down to a fun level where, you know what, guys, like this is happening whether you like it or not, so let's have fun with it. That type of person comes to me for an experience more so than, you know, I'm just looking to sell my property. I get the people that want the experience through it. How many hours a day do you work? <sighs> All of them. <laughs> exactly. So if you're going to spend them. that much time working, yeah. you might as well do it with the client that works best with you. Absolutely. And when you push your marketing out authentically, you naturally attract those people. Exactly. Yeah. So if you know, have you ever said to somebody politely, I don't think I'm the realtor for you? Yes. Why? And do you see those videos floating around too? Realtors no. are making those videos why I'm not the realtor for you. Oh, I didn't know there was a thing. I've been doing that for 28 years. <laughs> yeah. I walk in and the <laughs> guy, I want details, yeah. I want measurements, I want all this. Yeah. Da, 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 da. We're not going to work I'm together. not the guy. Absolutely. No, I, uh, yeah, straight up. I, you can tell. And the times that I've accepted that client that I know from day one were not a good fit, it doesn't end up well. It doesn't work. So it's better for both of you. I'll refer them to someone great, mm -hmm. type A personality that's really going to meet their needs and, you know, do the checklists and go through all that. Not to say we don't do that, but the type of person that's not looking to have an experience is just not my client. They're still missing out there, aren't they? Because oh, deep totally. down in your heart, you so know, we know we can make them you, have fun. <laughs> yes, and you're going to make them more money. 100%. So you're missing out. Yeah, big time. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Have you ever got the phone call? Do you know mm -hmm. the phone call I'm talking about? Read my mind, because you know what? It's almost like we're twins. Mm. The phone call, they leave a message. You ever got that phone call? Come Which on. One? Which Come one? On. There's a phone nope. call that we get as realtors once in a while. Then we pick up the phone. We get the message. We get the message. And obviously, they're not going to be working with us. They call and they say, you didn't answer your phone. You must not have time for me. This probably isn't going to work out. They yeah. don't understand that you have other clients and a life outside of. Yeah, you might be using the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> I answer what? the phone when I'm oh, using yeah, the bathroom. Me, me That's when I get my most work. You done. called the other day. <laughs> you were FaceTiming me. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh, you were in the bathroom? Yes, of course. Oh, because if you didn't clarify, people would think I called you from the bathroom. No. you. Face, you know. Well, I should put that out there. Yeah, but okay. no, you called me. You FaceTimed me. But and you I was answer. In, of course. I answer all my phone calls in okay. the bathroom. I think that's the best time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> what else and the, do? the reverb is great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So why why real estate? Um, I never, never, ever, ever thought I'd follow in my mother's footsteps. Um, what did your mother do? She was a real estate agent. So for... 30 years, she was a real estate agent, and she and I couldn't be more different. She's that type A, she's that checklist, she's that, you know, it's gotta be this way or it's gotta be nothing, and sales didn't resonate with me at all. But when I ended up going to university, UNB, I needed money to pay for tuition and my books, so mom hired me in her real estate office. And she had me pushing paper and creating flyers and doing, oh, you know, that, that. The, that type of marketing that just didn't vibe with me at all. And then she let me handle clients. And when I passed keys to buyers and they were elated, it just vibrated through my entire body. Yeah. People pleasing is my thing. And when I felt that, it was like, maybe I can make this my own thing. So I spun it. I got away from paper ads. I got online. I started to self-market and then market the success of my clients and the listings. And it just blew up from there. Well, that's how I seen you. I yeah. seen you online and I thought, wow, so this girl's yeah. half crazy. Yeah. Not full crazy, yeah, half you're crazy. Yeah, you're full, yeah. But uh, <laughs> would you recommend real estate to a 16-year-old, 15-year-old, that's saying to themselves, what am I going to do? What am I going to mm. do? Would you recommend it to them? It depends on who they are and what the, what they're, what they are and who they are. Like I do, I, you probably get the same thing. People approach you and say, oh, you look like you're having so much fun. Yeah. I want to be a realtor too. Well, that's so great, but you don't understand it's a roller coaster ride and you got to hang on tight. 
I send a personality profile to every single person that reaches out to me. Really? Oh yeah. Disc. You ever do the disc profile? Yeah, I've done um, it a long time ago. Yeah. And you can be half A and half B, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. So and I and I, I see who they are. If they're a if they're a type of checklist person that, you know, is a bit introvert and, you know, would prefer not to be out with people, then probably not. But you could get involved in the real estate world as maybe a personal assistant, right? Yep. But if you're outgoing with some sense of organization, right, then go for it. Yeah. And you know what I find funny about that mm. is if you send them the profile yeah. and they send don't the fill it out. Oh, then which, they're I. <laughs> then I'm like, you are you would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> they don't even understand. They don't even understand. They just identify their personality. Yeah, you just told me who yeah. you are oh, yeah. by not filling it out. And you probably should yeah. call your mom. Yes. She doesn't sell anymore. She doesn't. No, she's been out for six or six or seven years. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I just I started loving it from the second she let me handle clients and people please. I was like, this is it. Your first deal was it? Tell me. Oh, because I, I remember mine. I got taken. <laughs> I, oh, I got taken. I ended up with a set of buyers. They were amazing. Twice my age, right? So intimidating to begin with. I'm 21. Keep that in mind. I bring their offer to the selling agent and she is the top dog in the market. She knows everything and she plays me like a fiddle. I ended up by the end of the deal paying for a ride on lawnmower and what else was it? Who paid for it? Me, a microwave you, or something. the realtor. The realtor, the buyer's realtor. <laughs> and, it, and I'm pretty sure it was a buyer's market. Like I should have had the upper hand, but by the end of our negotiations, I somehow, that veteran realtor had me agreeing to pay for a ride on lawnmower and a microwave or something like that. Anyways, I made zero dollars, probably negative a hundred dollars. Yeah, my buyers were pumped. I was pumped. You know, yeah. you call it your friends. Like I, yeah. I got, I'm getting paid. <laughs> Not really, because you just got raked over the coals with this realtor. But yeah, that was my first deal. Well, I find rookies, rookie agents, and and uh, it's like everything in life. I know everybody wants everything right now. Mm -hmm. But you cannot have experience without having experience. Mm -hmm. You cannot do it. So I love the energy. So yeah. I can see why some buyers and sellers choose new agents, rookie agents, because yeah. they have so much energy. Yeah. But you cannot deny the experience mm -hmm. and the skill of a... Uh, of someone that's been through it. And it 500,000 times. And honestly, Rob, like the more, every single deal, like yes, I've been in 12 years, That that's long, but not when you consider every single deal is different and you learn something new and if you ever think that you're not going, if you're done learning, well, <laughs> it's gonna come and hit you on the side of the head. I still make more mistakes every day than I <laughs> yeah. do things right, it seems. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to say you're from Fredericton. I'm from Fredericton. New Brunswick, Canada. In Fredericton, my favorite beer, mm -hmm. I my fridge has this beer in it all the time, is Trailway. And so they're sponsoring us today. Wanted to say that. They have, uh, their hoppy beer is my favorite. It's the, the green huge can. Yeah. yeah huge I drank it before, so now we don't Didn't have the can. Oh, you drank it. And I drank it, so it's gone. So thank you, Trailway. Really and you Liberty Trailway. Utilities. Liberty Utilities, who is a sponsor new to New Brunswick for natural gas. And they sponsor our other show, Building Bridges. Awesome. Our vlog. And uh, Schluter Systems, Kent Building Supplies. <laughs> Thank you. I like it when you we say We need the sponsor. Uh, that brings me, you as a real estate agent yeah. are different than others because yeah. you, on your Instagram and Facebook and all that social media, yeah. you sponsor companies. I do. How did that start? Like as in me me pushing them out or me partnering with them? Yeah. It's yeah. surprising because you're so repulsive. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking. I can see why they want you as a sponsor. <laughs> don't leave. You no, know what? No. Don't no, leave. I'm joking. I'm joking. Out. You know what? I am such a big believer in cross promotion. Like, I mean, we're sitting here now, yeah. right? Two like minded people. Like, what can I bring to you? What can you bring to me? It's the same with local business. I. I live in Fredericton, I work in Fredericton, I, my job is literally to grow that city. Yeah. So to partner with local businesses makes perfect sense. I want them to do well, I want me to do well. If we're both doing well, everyone's doing well. So any local business, I'm all over. If they want my help, I'm all for it. We do giveaways. You know what you give, I've noticed, I just, somebody told me, and I had to check it out, yeah. I didn't believe it. You, uh, for animals, because mm. I have a dog, everybody knows I have a dog, and you have a, couple of dogs. I, I do. Tell I me about huskies. that, that uh, promotion that's that you do. That's the best. That's like my, 
That's my cherry like on you're, top. Like you're lighting up. Yeah, I know. Like I thought you lit up when you came in here and seen me. And no, it's like studio, about the dogs. But now you're <laughs> yeah, really, really lighting, lighting up. up. <laughs> no, the do- it's like, well, backstory. In grade 12, you have a co-op program, or we did at our school. I wanted to volunteer at the SPCA for my co-op program. Wow. Mom said, no, not a chance in hell. You'll bring home every freaking animal from the shelter, and you don't own your own house. So, no, you're not going there. Second up, I ended up going to an orthodontist. <laughs> long story short, not even close, long story short, it was four years ago, and I was kind of losing steam for the business. And I just kind of thought, what can I do to make this better for me and reignite the fire to be able to you know, sell more, help more, give back in some kind of way. And it brought me back to that wanting to help the SPCA when I was in grade 12. Sat at my counter, positive property popped into my head, PAWS, and I decided to donate $100 every time I sell the house to the animal shelter. So Frederick so SPCA, many? I called them up just to say, hey, this is a wild idea. Oh, if you're not interested, no <laughs> worries. Not interested. They said, they said yes before I even spit the words out. Yeah. And I, you know, you ball. You just you're so you're so proud of something like that. Yeah. Like that is, I mean, to date we've donated almost sixty thousand dollars out wow. of yeah out of our it's housing okay. sales to Fredericton SPCA uh, or Macno, which is just outside Fredericton, and uh, like different shelters when Fort Mac had those big fires, mm. we took a monthly check six hundred bucks out to them. Right, because they had a lot of crisis going on, saving all the animals. And this month, we're going to adopt some koalas from Australia. Really? Yeah. Oh. So like the That's paws, incredible. right? Yeah. 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 yeah but uh, and it's it's so cool because our clients too jump on board with it, and they offer to match donations. Yeah. So like in a run of a month, you can you you've got a thousand bucks to bring to these shelters, and when you break down what dollar for dollar that can buy at a shelter, it's amazing. Yeah. Like you're helping find Could pets for Because you have volunteers there that are yep. thinking the same mindset. Yeah, and they, and they can stretch a dollar a long way at those yeah. shelters, right? They're used to it, so yeah. We really started cool. a program with the kids in the schools, yeah. and uh, we've done one, we gotta go deliver the check, and you're kind of inspiring me to do more, because cool. somebody came to me a long time ago, a buyer's mom, yeah. and she goes, I remember you like 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And you used to come into the school, Queenie School, where you used to go, and you used to donate to the kids. Yeah. You'd buy them things. And yeah. I remember that. And it's like, man, that felt good. Yeah. I had a rough year last year. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it again. So we started it. Yeah. To give back, on, like it, it is our, it's a human responsibility. Yeah. But when you actually buck up and do it, it's it. you're such a better person for it. You walk away with head high. Well, even back to the local business. Mm-hmm. So there's local coffee shop here, for mm-hmm. example. I go give them $5. Yeah. They turn around and give five dollars to a girl who makes soap across the street. Yeah. And then those people come and buy a house. That it stays in the community. Yeah. Local business is very, very important. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So were you cool in school? Because no. you're cool now. <laughs> Not no. I think you think I'm cooler than I actually am. Well you're am. cool. Well see I like the videos. My best my best and my husband tells me this, take it as you will. You're far, you're good from fire, but you're far from good. Like up close, I am a hot mess. I have, you think I have well, my stuff together. Well, we're pretty close together. here. You don't look like a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. Yeah, okay. I don't have my stuff together. I think I do. I don't. I'm just a personality type where I'm always going to make it work, right? No matter what, I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to make it work. Put me on the spot. We're going to figure it out, yeah. right? So, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, you think I'm organized. I'm, I make it work. I have drive, I think, more than yeah. any organization. Oh, you have drive. I have drive. You have drive. Oh, I have drive, too. Yeah. Drives like it comes out That's my it. ears. Yeah. And, sometimes and, you, and you can't teach that. You can teach organization. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can, yeah. You but stay awake at night? So I, I have to write things down before I go to yeah. bed. Yeah. What I'm going to do tomorrow. Yeah. What I'm going to do first. Get it out. And I have to get up, and whatever the three hardest things, mm-hmm. I don't care how hard they are. Get it done. I try to get it done right away because yeah. it will eat, and I have to do it. Absolutely. And I, like, I'm the anti-procrastinator to yeah. an illness, to yeah. a fault. That's good. It is See, good in a way, but 
How do some people sit back and enjoy a video game and what? Uh, how do you do <laughs> I that? <don't. laughs> this we do not. We no, cannot. It's, it, it's, my my. I don't know if your wife is the same type of personality. You must balance each other to well, some she's, degree. She's not like. Oh, she's. You she's mu- not she a, must be your opposite. She's not a video game player. No, but, but she she's she probably she's yeah quiet. she levels yeah yeah that's I mean Andrew too my husband he. Uh, I don't know if he relaxes. Yeah, he, yeah. He he just takes it easy. Like he he can just do nothing for a bit. He can sit and literally do nothing. Yeah. And it blows my mind. I probably should promote the business more. Mm-hmm. I tend to promote because I feel people think I'm like you. I want the client that fits me because mm-hmm. I'm a diff. I'm different. You self-market. Like, I'm different. So I self-market. Yeah. And then if you want to know more about my product, you're gonna reach. you'll reach out. Yeah. And if you think I'm crazy and a nut, then you're not going to. Absolutely. And I can't change. You've done your job anyway. Yeah. No, I, uh, I totally agree with that. I think, especially online, like people are on social media to be social, not sold. So you've got to Perhaps remember that. Did you that. write that down? Listen, good. I used that when I was speaking somewhere. That's and, good. And the guy that uh, in New York actually is like, it's like I'm gonna keep using it. Use it yesterday too. Say it again. People are on social media to be social, not sold. <laughs> Pop. That's, right? that, that's g- a meme. Is that a meme? No. That's oh, gotta be a meme. No. Okay. So I'm were you market. always? Because I know how I like. Were you always so whew, on social media, like so mm-hmm. out there? Um. When I decided to commit, yeah, yeah, I just went full throttle. Was it easy? No. Oh, I know. That's, I think that's the biggest misconception about like our type of marketing. People think just because we're pushing content out there that's video and it's fun and, and it's engaging, like they think it's easy and it's not. I get nervous. Like I still get nervous. Every time we shoot a video, I'm nervous. My first video I uploaded was a cup song. Remember uh, Pitch Perfect? When Anna Kendrick like flipped the can upside down and did the little thing, yeah. yeah, and sang to it, I was at an open house. I was getting nobody through. I had a DQ cup, a fountain pop, poured it out, flipped the cup upside down, and made a video with lyrics about my open house to come. Yeah. So step me through the first time. Yeah. You make a video. Yeah. It's hard enough making it. Yeah. You're people don't understand. You're you're freaking out. You're nervous making it. Yeah. And you're kind of half telling yourself in your head, I'm not really gonna post this, but yeah. I'm gonna make it and probably will. Yeah. Tell me the next steps now. Every brain thought. <laughs> For me, yes. it's like rip the band-aid off. I put it up, I, I post, when I posted my first video, I was crying. Crying, crying as I was writing. Because of stress. Ca- crying of embarrassment. Like I'm a, like I said to you, I think you think I'm cooler than I am. I'm a, I was not a cool kid in school. Oh, I, we'll talk I about was that after. Keep kid. going. Yeah, but anyway, so, so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed of my own self and what I was doing, but it was me, right? Like, this is me. So here's, here I am, guys. Like, take it or leave it, right? And if at the time I didn't realize what I was doing, but I was attracting my vibe. Mm-hmm. That saying, like your vibe is your tribe, right? You yeah. put your you put your vibe out there, and your people come back to you, right? So I put that first video out there, and for me, it's a rip the bandaid approach. Like just do it. Get oh, okay. It done. What, did you have a hard time hitting big time? Post oh yeah. And you're sweating. Sweating. Like freaking, like pure yeah. freaking out. Big time. People are gonna judge and yeah. What are and they gonna I'm say? An idiot and yeah. Everything. I'm embarrassed of myself. Like I shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to get people to my open house, draw attention to it. But I remember I, I hit post, I cried, I put my phone away, and I finished my open house. A couple people came through. No one that saw the video because it just wasn't ahead of time enough. But when I got home, after all was said and done, I opened up my Facebook. And at the time, seven years ago, it was up to like 30,000 views within hours. And that was before video was really a big thing yeah. in our industry. And I just remember my husband saying like, I've been trying to call you and text you like your video that you posted, it's hilarious, it's blowing up. And like, that's so amazing to get, not that you need validation, but to have that validation for something that was so authentic to you, mm-hmm. it, was, it was self-assuring, right? And that just, from that point on, my business just went up. I 
felt comfortable being myself. Well, it's because you it, it takes me too. I sweat, freak yeah. out. I didn't sleep for two nights. Yeah. When I was even thinking, I'm going to start putting videos up, and they yeah. stunk, and some I didn't get thirty thousand views at first. Well, some stuff maybe, yeah. but um, like like petrified, mm -hmm. and everybody thinks, oh, it's so easy for you. No, it it's still petrifying. Yeah. I still every time we upload a new anything, yeah. it's hard, but it's it attracts. Yeah, and the, it's you. The people you want to work with. It's, it's you. you. Yeah, you like doing it. So no matter if you're in real estate mm. or what your business is, would you say like just be you? Big time. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's your daily life, right? Just in life in general, you've got to. You've got one life. Do it right. Don't waste your time trying to be something that you're not. You're not going to enjoy your minutes. So tell me about high school. Uh, what were you like in high, even oh, junior high? I was, a, I sucked. Yeah, I uh, like, uh, I mean, everyone's got their stuff, right? You go through, go through growth of life and you're just trying to figure yourself out. And I ended up, I ended up in a popular crowd that I didn't relate to so it was me trying to be like them and it wasn't me like I, I posted something the other day I met with this young girl and she just kind of brought me back to my high school days but she's so creative and she's embracing it and she's going out there and just like living what she likes to do and I didn't do that I wow. smothered my creativity when I was young well, and I thought 99% of us did yeah high school's hard but it, it is like you feel like you've got to be this like don't don't do the drama club don't do music don't do you know this this is what's cool but if it doesn't call to you that's not cool right that's yeah. not gonna raise you right but anyways I fell into that and yeah no I I would I was lost when I was in high school I only found myself just before I met my husband and I wasn't looking for him and he showed up. So it was like the perfect mixture of everything and yeah. my life has just been up since. But I had to go through being lost, going you know, through the motions of whatever, trying to be somebody that I wasn't and then finally hitting a pivotal point where things turned around and yeah. Now, and now you're super successful. Now I'm just myself. Real estate agent. Now I'm just myself, yeah. right? Like I just, I don't care what other people want of me because I'm so happy with my ability to just be who I am and the people that are around me just embrace it. And now, the people that don't, that's perfectly fine. And I think that still even ties back, if we bring it back to the real estate agents, mm. and I, you see the real estate agents trying to please everybody and taking all these clients because they think they need the numbers. You can't, no, yeah. you can't. You can't. Take the ones you like. Yeah. Do the work you can do. Yeah. Like you don't need to run like a madman 24 hours a day showing and meeting everybody Sales you can. machine. Be you. Yeah. And you do, like when you do that, you do, I went through that too, like just trying to do as much as possible and taking everything. But you, you act at a desperation and it shows, right? Like you're not treating the people as well as you should be. Right, you're just you're focused on the wrong things. You're not focused on them. You've got to turn it around and know that they're who you're there for and act in their best interest. I think the best real estate agents, they if they want to admit it or not, they have love for people. Big time. You've got to well, love like people. Well, they care. You've I got to ask. Like, where, Rob? You want to sell your house? Where are you going? Yeah. Why? Exactly. Why? What's going on? And even what if I was a you realtor, this? I'd yeah, want to, hey. Tell me, tell, tell me everything. On. Like yeah. I love, I love stories anyway, you probably do too, but like to know them, to feel like you yeah. know them, you care, right? And it just fuels you to do a good job. So I think, I think the biggest mistake that realtors do make is they just, they don't ask where and why, right? They just say, okay, what do you want to do? You want to list your house, cool. I'm going to do it for you. But you just, you have to connect with your people because that's what's going to drive you from start to finish. And they're going to be so happy and you there too. So what are your goals for 2020? Ah. See, well, I just want to know what are your goals? I uh, take over the world. <laughs> uh, well, one of them is to come back and do another podcast. I right? think, hey, listen, you you bring the beer. I brought the beer. <laughs> wait well, a minute. You came hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I told you that if I was going to do a podcast, you were going to have to supply the beer. And I uh, brought I'll, the beer. Uh, I'll, uh, Thank you, You Trevor. bring the receipt. There was no receipt because it was. You should it was you should promoed. mention that we're not drinking coffee. We're not drinking coffee. We're drinking beer. No, I know, but I'm not sure that anybody's physically saw. We did. I've been drinking beer the whole time. No, I know you have. Trailing. But yeah, it's my favorite. It is my favorite too. I well, I have a lot of favorites. I shouldn't say that. Trailway is definitely a top 
favorite. We in Fredericton have a lot of awesome breweries now. We've got Greystone, yeah. Picaroons, Trailway. Isn't uh, the whole blossom explosion of microbreweries? I love it. Me too. I love it. Well, it's a different vibe too. Like you yeah. go, you go into a microbrewery, and it's just it's your local people, right? It's relaxed. Like it's self-made. It's yeah, a really it's awesome environment. Yeah. yeah. Um, to like. 15 years ago, everything was triple filtered, quad triple yep. filtered, filter, <laughs> yeah. filter, filter, it's almost water. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's like we pump pulp it's into beautiful. it. Beautiful, <laughs> yeah. It's thick and heavy. One beer and you're done. And, yeah, <laughs> it's a meal. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome. So you have to come back. Yeah, I'd love to come back. Yeah, I wasn't cool in school either. No. Real quick before we go. How? Uh, My mom ordered happened? the Sears. Do you remember Sears? You could order. Of course. And you came and picked the it catalog. up. catalog. Kids, yeah. So like the jumpsuits, like the yeah. gym, what do you call them? Well, what you, like, like a, a rompers? No, no, no. <laughs> did, did you wear a romper? <laughs> Were you a Sears model in a romper? <laughs> male model. Hashtag male model. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're the best. You're going to get discovered. Do you, do you believe it? No. Hey, yeah. I don't want to be discovered. You're going to be discovered. Uh, yeah, thank you. And you know what I find? Okay. Discovered for, for your what? followers. I already for, was. For Rob Bridges' followers, please tap his Instagram <laughs> pictures and see what he's tagging now. I taught him this. And he, he, he tagged... Just for men, <laughs> the other day, and I just loved it. I thought that was amazing. Do you well, dye your hair? No, I don't. This is my hair. Then why did you tag just for men? Because I want them to sponsor me. You're taking just a page out of my book. <laughs> yes, <laughs> here, sponsor throw your me. Pitch out. This is my hair, but it's starting to go low, like more and more and more and more gray. Where the two tone? Yeah. The salt and pepper's going. Yeah. So I may legitimately need that someday. So, it may as well be for free, and you help yes, sell the product. But she did help me. I did. With uh, social media Tagging. stuff. But I, it, like overnight, I got like 500 more followers. I'm telling you. I might even have another, another two. You're going to be sponsored by r and in no time. Someday. Someday. Did you, hear, did you watch the little video I did? I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Your dad R&W. was gone. And then my dad is actually just at A&W. Yeah, that's cute. I love it. I love it. It's yeah. a stress relief. It's fun to yeah, do. Absolutely. And if you like me, you come yep. deal with me yep. business-wise. Yep. No, uh, gym suits. Like a gym. Tracksuit. 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 Oh, so, so my mom would buy the black, the blue, the red, the green, and the yellow. The yellow was my favorite. Even I think it clashed with my skin tone. I could see you tone. in a yellow. And it, I, I don't think it was. No. Blue was my. Your color. My color. <laughs> yeah. And she and, ordered and, them and all. Guy. And yeah. I have to sit in the back seat in the K car when we haven't picked them up. Aww. And then I went to school in those. Yeah. So you weren't cool either. No, it took me many years to get over it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Rob. Any advice for a real estate agent that's Thinking about getting in the business, already in the business, anything you can think of? Yeah, I mean, stay, stay, it's not easy, right? Don't expect anything to be easy. Life's not supposed to be easy. It's built to challenge you, but stay true to yourself, stay true to your brand, market who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. Stay in your lane. Don't pay attention to what everyone else is doing. Do you, and that's going to take you to the highest point. Good. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to finish off Jessica Yurtza. Uh, Jerksa. Wow. Yurtsa. Whole Yursa. cut Yursa. everything. Yursa Versa. No, you call me Jessica. We're done. You're lucky oh, we're Jessie. already done. Jesse, sorry. Okay, let's do that again. Did I say Jessica? Oh. Is that offensive to you? Mm-hmm. Let's, well, we thought we were going to end here, but I want to know why now. <laughs> because why Jessica is so offensive. It's too girly for who I am. It doesn't work. Well, Jesse, You is look at me cool. and you see Jessica? No, 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 I just probably said it because... Uh, my real name is Jesse. We've been drinking beer for an hour. Yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> well, I forgot your name. <laughs> it's okay, Roger. It's fine. <laughs> just call me Tracksuit. Tracksuit. Tracksuit Roger. <laughs> Roger. 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 Hashtag Tracksuit Roger. 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 Yeah, okay, That's let's you. move on. Okay. Yeah, Why no. is it so offensive? It's, uh, no, it's not offensive. Like, you know, bless the Jessicas. That's great. But it's it's a totally different name than what I'm named. Jessie. Like, my name is Jesse, J E S S I E. Yeah, Jesse's great. Yeah, thanks. Because uh, even the it just Toy Story people, Jesse was the. That's right. It's just like driven. A, yeah, crazy yeah. cowgirl. You must have loved that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That yeah. Been Big cool. time. Yeah. So, Jesse. Jesse. And I'm going to finish off by saying if you're not uncomfortable, you're not doing it right. 100%. Great advice. Thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you.